Hey, hey, wrestling fans, members of the YWC, and F and True followers. Brian Crazy here, F and True Wrestling, back at you with TNA Impact Spoilers for 7 7 2011. If you guys don't want to know what's going to happen on the show, please turn this video off now. We start off with a promo with Immortal calling out Anderson. They either say, hey, you're with us or you're against us, and then announce that it will be Immortal versus Angle and Sting tag match later in the night. Then we go into Crimson defeats Robert Roode in a Bound for Glory series match. Then we go into a backstage segment where Brian Kendrick is meditating wearing Abyss's mask. He goes down to the ring, calls out Abyss. Abyss comes out wearing a black towel. Abyss grabs the mask, plants Kendrick with the black hole slam, and Generation Me, Amazing Red, and Alex Shelley make the save to save Kendrick. Then we go into a backstage segment with Angle and Sting. Then we move into Jack Evans versus Tony Nese and Jesse Sorensen in an X Division qualifying match. Jack Evans picked up the win. You guys might remember Jack Evans was in TNA back in leave 2004. Then we see Velva Sky pick up the win over Jackie and ODB in a handicap match where ODB accidentally hit Jackie with a chair. Then we move into Robbie and Dam, uh, one of four corner survival match against Jerry Lynn, AJ Styles, and Daniels. The crowd said the match was awesome. RVD hit the frog splash on Daniels for the win. Then we see Brother Devon and the Pope go against Matt Morgan and James Storm. Brother Devon and the Pope pick up the win in a Bound for Glory series match. Devon did get the win by pinning James Storm. Then we see Hulk Hogan lays Sting out with a bat, uh, bat backstage, a little um, retribution for the attack a few weeks back. And then in the main event, we see Scott Steiner, Abyss, Brother Ray, and Gunner defeat the team of Sting and Kurt Angle. Um, Sting did not come out at first due to being attacked by Hulk Hogan. Angle made the tag, but Anderson turned on him with a mic check allowing Immortal to pin Angle for the win. Anderson celebrated with Immortal after the match, and Hulk Hogan came out and gave his stamp of approval. So it looks like Anderson is now in the Immortal camp, and uh, well, Sting was laid out at the end of the show. So, I mean, it was basically Angle fending for himself. So I'm wondering how this Angle, no pun intended, will develop in the next few weeks. I would have really liked to see Scotty Steiner with Kurt Angle and Sting, kind of a reformation of the main event mafia to counteract the power of Immortal. And uh, I thought it would have been a really good thing throwing Steiner in there. Yeah, to add some legitimacy to Immortal because they did not have many main event draws who were still in a wrestling role. But I don't know. Um, that's all I got for right now. For FN True Wrestling, Brian Crazy, and I'll catch you later.